Hello, Georgia 551 here, and today we're going to show you something a little special. I want to thank my friend Dave Matella, or as one of his cohorts calls him, Dave Matella, that uh, I have a little something I can uh, do at home now, although this will not replace an actual event by any means, is I have my own candle pin bowling set now. Dave has a whole bunch of busted pins at the time of this recording, from end caps being completely taken off to quarter or half the pins literally missing, and they're more for a target practice or a one-way setup. So he had a whole ton of these in, in storage. They're, all the pins are broken to some degree. And for a buck, he let me have 11 of them. However, he gave me the 11th one for free. There's one that's chipped on the end cap. And for 25 bucks, which is actually a steal, four retired house balls. Now, if I went and bought all this brand new, and there's the 11th pin, which has the, uh, there, it has the damage. That's a one way, that's to, fill in for one that might break possibly if I bought these balls if I bought the balls brand new and these pins brand new the amount I paid for them I couldn't even get two brand new candle pins the pins were 10 bucks the balls were 25 and they're in very good shape for house balls I'm looking at 500 bucks worth of equipment if I bought brand new. And as you can kind of see, it was very hard to find a place level enough to even attempt this, to set it up. So, speaking of attempt, we're going to try a little game. It's going to be really hard because it's on a dirt driveway with lots of little pebbles and stuff. And once you get to about here, driveway's no, not really any good, so we're only going to be like 15 feet away from the pins. So let's do some practice games or frames, whichever. I don't know if we'll even have time for a whole game. All right, here we go. We're not gonna throw the ball hard because we don't want them going off into the woods. Let's see how many frames we can do and how straight these balls are gonna go. And I'm not gonna throw them that hard. It would also help if I could throw straight. Ball two. Ball three. You know, uneven ground doesn't help either. Frame number two. These are a pain to stand up on uneven ground. Ball two. There we go, 10 bucks. Frame three, I literally spent five minutes trying to find where each pin will stand. Some of them will not stand in certain spots and others will, mostly because the ground is uneven. On a level surface, they stand perfectly fine with no effort. All right, ball one. Ball two. And ball three.
Deadwood for a 10. Yeah. This is fortunately more for work than here, so there's more flat spots at work. And this is, like I said, a really bumpy dirt driveway. So certain pins will stand in certain spots, but not in others. Anyway, I think this is frame four. I don't care. Just showing off that I got a bowling set of my own. Which of course does not replace the actual bowling. Four horsemen right. Ball two. With the ground the way it is, how did the 10 not fall? We know it will be very hard to put back up. Ball three. A niner. Is it a good camera to do close up and everything? Frame five, yeah. This will be the last one. It's too pain in the ass to try to get these to stand. Yeah, look, because it's not flat. I know. This is as good as I can find. That's not bad, though. Yeah. But this camera... Of course, that guy then had to say stuff that was very inappropriate for a YouTube video, so I had to edit the audio of this little bit out as we knocked down one more pin. Oh, yay, neighbors. Wow, you almost had that. And that'll be it. And, yeah, five frames, that's enough. And I'm going to stop here. It's like I said, five minutes every time to try to figure out which one will stand on, once again, a bumpy, on a bumpy driveway. It's just too much pain in the butt playing switcheroo what have not and apologies for the edit that guy that decided to watch decided to say very inappropriate things that you should not say on YouTube so that's what that edit was anyway with that being said there are the pins and I'm putting the balls away and there's the extra again thank Dave and Dave Madela for allowing me to purchase these off him. There's very few left, and a lot of them are in far worse condition than this, like parts of it literally blown off, but like a quarter of the pin literally smashed off. More for other kinds of target practice involving guns than involving bowling balls. And that is it. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.